Hello Darklings and welcome to another video. I have a feeling that clothing hauls are your favorite videos and I gotta confess they are my favorite videos too. So here is another one. For this video I have picked a bunch of things from House of Widow, mostly from their latest collection. I think everything except for this one is from their latest collection. So let's get started. The sweater I'm wearing right now is called Eternity Lifeless Distress Sweater. And I got it in a size SM because they only come in a couple of sizes. They didn't have an excess for this one so it's kind of big. But it doesn't matter because I really like oversized clothes for winter. So I really don't care if it's too big. This one is from a very old collection and it was out of stock until very recently. So I thought it was my chance to finally get it because I've always been in love with it. It has a, a very big ank on the front. And lots of uh, holes on the sides. The thing with these dress sweaters is I don't like them if they look like they're really destroyed. I like them when it looks like it's on purpose. So this one has symmetrical holes that I don't know if you can see on the front and here on the back. The sleeves also have a lot of holes so even if it's very long Considering the amount of holes it has, you should probably wear it with something underneath, pants, leggings, or whatever. I'm currently wearing pantyhose because I didn't feel like wearing too much at the moment. It's not so cold yet here in Spain, but you should probably wear it with something underneath because otherwise you're gonna freeze to death this winter. Let's pick something else. This is from their latest collection, the one I was talking about, and it is so, so beautiful. I still haven't tried it on, and it has uh, the tags on, so I'm gonna get rid of them. It also has an ank on the front, but I think you will be able to see it better if I try it on. This one's called Midnight's Embrace Match Bodysuit and I adore it. It has an ank on the front and this brocade-like pattern all over. The pattern is velvety and of course it's a smash. So it's transparent and it's very revealing. Now I love these openings here and also the sleeves are amazing. It closes here on the back, but I don't know if you will be able to see it with the wig. I couldn't close all of them because yeah, it was difficult with the wig. I kind of regret using it for this video, but my hair was a mess today. Since it is very revealing, I thought it would be better to wear it with some pants. Um, you can see it's kind of like a thong in here. Um, closes with three clasps. It's a very high on the sides, which I adore because I'm planning to wear it with pants. And I like this opening in here as well. I think it goes very well with this. And I think it looks amazing. I wasn't sure if it would be something I would be able to wear to go out or not. Because of course it's super transparent. But I think I will. Maybe with a black bra. Because I don't think it looks so good with this one. I got it in size XS. And I usually wear this size from Widow. But I feel like this one is a little bit tight in here. Of course it's perfect once I have it on, but when I was trying to put it through my head, I felt it was kind of small. <laughs> but I don't know, I think a size bigger would probably be too big uh, around here. So just keep it in mind, it's a little bit tighter than I expected. Something else I picked was this gorgeous outfit. You can only see the top right now, but you will see the whole thing very soon. I cannot really say which one is my favorite from this collection because I loved everything and it was super hard to just pick a few pieces. This top is the Unfinished Business Bustier top and I got it in a size XS. Here it's boned. I assume they're plastic bones but it's still really really rigid and cool because it keeps the shape very well. And on the back it has uh, lace in. The laces are super thick but there's no fabric in here. So your back is covered just by laces. The straps are adjustable, which is great because it's not stretchy. And I would say this one is true to size. It's a size XS, which is my usual size and it fits just perfect. And now the skirt. 
It's called a Dark Bidden Lace Up Skirt and it has the same brocade pattern as the bustier but it, this one is in black and I thought they matched perfectly. The skirt has several layers, some are brocade and some are lace and then it has this cotton stretchy part in here. I assume it's cotton but I'm not really sure. And stretchy part in here, the laces are just for decoration because I don't think you can no you cannot really close it or open it. Um this part is stretchy so it doesn't have a zipper or anything. You just pull it up. I'm gonna grab the matching jacket that I got. It's so so beautiful. This one's called Unfinished Business Brocade Shrug and as you can see it's open on the back. It has the same laces as the corset and this lace in here and it is super beautiful. I hope you can see the pattern because it's the most stunning fabric I've seen in a very long time. I'm gonna try it on. This one was a size excess as well and it fits just perfectly. Okay, so it's so so beautiful. I look like a vampire queen. It is amazing and I don't want to take it off. One of my favorite things about this jacket are the sleeves. They end in some sort of pointy way, which is kind of odd, but very beautiful and flattering. And the back is just stunning. Now I'm gonna show you something that I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to try on. It is this uh, garter, um, garter belt or a garter skirt, I don't know. And it's transparent and I'm not sure if I will look decent enough to show you this on YouTube. So I'm gonna try it on and let's see. It's not too bad, but I'm also not going to turn around because the back is more revealing. This is called a Deadly Serious Garter Skirt. You can use it to keep your thigh highs in place or just as decoration as I'm doing right now. Although I like it a lot, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to wear it that much because it's very revealing. The front is kind of okay, but the back is very short. It ends at this point, so you can basically see my entire ass. So we've reached the last item of this haul and it is this gorgeous vampire dress. It is super super long but I cannot show you here so I will do my best to show you later. This dress is called Dance with Death Gothic Dress and it is one of the biggest things that I own. It is fully transparent and made of different types of lace and it has several layers on the skirt part. The top has uh, bones here uh, on the wires here so it is like a bustier but just transparent and attached to this beautiful skirt I'm gonna try to show you the back because I really like the way it looks I'm sure my hair is a mess at this point but I still want to show you it closes with this zipper here on the back which opens until I think all this is the zipper now that I'm closer you can probably see the details better I really like the design here on the front and I especially love this ink. It was one of the main reasons why I picked it, but also because I don't have any dress like this one and I'm really excited to take photos with this. I have a lot of things planned but I'm not sure if I will be able to do them because we're not allowed to go to different cities right now because of Covid and all that stuff, so <laughs> I'm not sure if I will be able to do what I wanted to do but still I adore this and I will probably go to a forest or something to shoot with this because my room is too small for this as you can probably tell right now. This was all I had prepared for this video. I hope you enjoyed the selection of clothes as much as I did. This has to be one of my favorite collections of the decade and I am absolutely in love with every piece. Everything looks really beautiful and the quality is amazing. I'm in love with every design and every little detail in this collection. I am especially obsessed with all the angst in every piece from this to the patterns and all that. 
It is so, so vampiric and so beautiful. I think it's my all-time favorite collection from Widow and Dolls Kill. And I wish I could get uh, the entire collection. I was obsessed with it since the time it came out. And I still hope I can get a few more pieces if they decide to restock the ones that were sold out in my size. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments which item was your favorite. I think I'm gonna have to go with this dress because it's just so different from everything I have and so beautiful. It looks like it was taken out of a vampire movie. So take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!